Hey guys, Anthony, 4 Before Diesel. This isn't probably the first, but it could be the best and it won't be the last video on battery chargers. Now, we own a whole heap of battery chargers. Um, we've got a uh, battery charger mounted in two of the vehicles uh, and we've got a couple other chargers around. Well, you know what, we'll do a whole series like we have on scan tools and stuff and we're not finished with those. We'll do a whole series on some information on battery chargers. This one is one we're just testing out at the moment. And it seems really good value for money. Introductory price just under 60 bucks. So um, I know there's some other smart chargers around. Um, I haven't used them. This is the only one I've used. I haven't had it long. I'm not an expert with it, but I just thought I'd show you what I know and what comes with it anyway and what I've found so far. So that's the actual charger itself. All the quality finish of the build looks really good quality. And where all the wires come out, you've got this extra, because I noticed with some of my older chargers, from wires bending back and forth, that's where things start breaking at each end like that. See, they've really got a really good uh, support there, right? So that's a positive. It looks good quality. Decent thickness leads coming off there. And then you've just got a push-pull adapter here to your either. You've got the alligator clips, which actually seem very good quality as well. You know what I mean? You can get some crappy alligator clips. Doesn't mean because it looks good it is, but to me, I can only tell you what it looks like because I haven't used it for years yet. I've only... Well, I sort of did a test run once on one battery, it went well, and the second time, I'm about to put some charge into this battery, and uh, I don't know, second time, lucky, let's see how we go, right? So you've got those leads, or you can just, unplug, and they're quite thick as well, actually, probably, what's that? Uh, I'd guess that's, what, 8 BNS or close to it, maybe a little bit smaller. Push-pull plug, it also comes with this one, so you can just push that on. So there's the little pins, actually, let you have a look at it for a minute, right? So only goes one way and you just leave this permanently connected on your battery if you want to maintain your battery because you can put these onto a really low setting light we've got a couple of projectors mounted in the vehicle 1600 milliamps they do the job but if you want to give it a pumping this is the disadvantage of the one that's mounted in the vehicle if i say i really need to get some charge into this battery and i'll put it up to six seven eight ten amps or something like that well you can't because it's only a small charger um, it's good for maintenance this is completely variable so what I'm going to do, I can't hold everything at once. I just wanted to show you the quality of everything first, what's included, a quality box. You've got your book to read. I've had a bit of a look. Um, it only goes for, you know, quite a few pages, actually. Probably uh, not even a quarter of the way, but it gives you way more information than my capabilities can handle, right? But it's, there's an app for that, and you do it all on your phone. Uh, you can use it without having the app, of course. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to connect up the alligator clips to the battery, and battery or battery or whatever you want to call it you know smart charger and tester we're going to fire this up we're going to plug it in now if this is a negative i'm not sure but you need the adapter because it only comes with the two flat pins so in australia that's what we have um where they come from i'm not sure exactly the only if that's the only plug comes with for now but i'm sure that might change this is a a fairly new product right that's why we're testing it out anyway i think it's like 58 59 bucks probably put a link in the description if I remember it. If I don't put it in straight away, check later, I'll edit and I'll add it in the description, bada bing. Right, now, let's have a bit of a look-see. Let's get it connected yeah, so all up. all I've done at the moment, I've just taken the caps off, because I keep them capped. Just put the alligator clips on the battery. And as soon as you do that, it fires up, it's powered up the charger. And then I reckon what we can do, we can open the app. So I'm just gonna open the app. Right, there it is, let's see if it connects. There it is, look, connected already right connected look at that, smart charging so this is a battery tester oh, it says plug not connected oh yeah you're right funny that we've got a lead right here handy as it might be so we're going to plug that in in a moment but 12.6 12.7 it was on 12.4 because the vehicle it hadn't been charged and it was sitting and sitting and sitting and we've got uh we've got a phone charging off it we've got um you know uh voltmeters running off it and for days and days so it had been getting drained, 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 and I literally just ran the vehicle um, for 10 minutes. So it's given it a boost, and that was probably switched off 20 minutes ago now. So slowly this is gonna drop down, and the Red Arc Isolator, SBI Night Rider, is gonna disconnect very soon, right? But we're gonna plug it in anyway and start the charging process. And what will happen, since that's still connected, we'll be charging both the batteries, which is fine. Happy days, that's what we happy to do if we want it to be separate we'll just wait another 10 minutes 20 minutes and when 
the main cranking battery gets down to around about this sort of voltage any minute it will disconnect and then we'll be just charging this battery which is also good depending on what you want to do as you can see now we've got it plugged in and it says connected so the plugs connected we're not charging or anything at this stage but obviously we can do that using all these controls here okay and that's what we're going to go through slowly like i do and have a bit of a look around so let's first go smart charging and i'm not saying we're going to cover everything in this video i'm not trying to sell you a charger it doesn't bother me at this point whether you buy it or not i'm just showing you at this stage what we've got what we're playing with what we're doing and if you want one you can buy one and if you don't want you don't buy one and if you're not sure you can keep watching the videos because there'll be more and uh, with that information you can decide what you want to do i don't own the company or anything i've got no interest whatsoever right i'm just testing out the charger right happy days right look at this see 12 volt so what is that 12 volt alloy that wouldn't be right anyway so this is what we do battery top 12 volt flooded right let's have a look at the options i'll see you know so you can select your regular flooded battery which is what this is you've got your agm flat plate which is what that um, dual force is over there so this could cause a bit of a conflict for uh charging two batteries at once with two different battery types here so we'll just let that other one disconnect before we put the charging on it shouldn't be far away now we've got 12.6 volts red arc okay you've got your agm spiral that's your typical um you know optimus which we love gel and efb which we're not going to talk about those because we don't have them so it doesn't really matter and we'll try and keep things shorter by not talking about it. so we're going to just select regular flooded at the moment we'll leave it on that battery standard that's how many ccas but we've got two batteries here is the problem so the cca i think on that let me have a look i've got it all covered up i can't remember but you can... come in here and you select your battery type you've got all your different battery types for us it's going to be regular flooded agm flat plates or agm spirals because we've got your sanded batteries which is your regular flooded we've got agm flat plates and we've got agm spirals so at the moment we're just going to leave it on regular flooded we're going to leave it on cca because all our batteries are rated in ccas the rating we can put it in as a 750 although we've got two batteries connected at the moment so yeah, whatever anyway it doesn't matter uh, i'm not going to you can add in times for charging we're just going to go 12 volts is you know what 12 volts 6 amp normal no problem this mode here i don't know if i've programmed that or that was there already because i was having a play with like i said once before but what i'm going to do this time i'm going to not press start charge i'm going to go arrow to the right i'll just show you okay so here you can go let us you can select up right here let's get up there you can see what we're talking about you can select that one slow charge let us battery or you can go add mode and you can actually add in, you know, you can call it whatever you like, charging mode, mode name. And I'm, what I'm going to call it is, this is how I do stuff. Two batteries. So I'm going to call it two batteries, because at the moment I'm going to be charging two batteries. I'm going to leave it as lead acid battery. Oh, come on, move up, what are we doing? Charging mode here. Oh, hang on. What am, I, what am I doing? What am I doing? No, 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 I don't want it. So you can set a time to start and finish and all that, which is pretty good, actually. So I could set this to start charging sometime during the day when the sun's shining so that we're using the solar panels, our free power, you know what I mean? So you could do that. Um, charging mode. What is that? Charging mode. Is that just below here? Okay, constant voltage mode, lead acid battery. Constant voltage mode. So I don't know what they are, I have to read up on it. Lead acid battery is what we're going to do. Um, we're not doing any of that. Maximum voltage. You know what, let's bring it down a bit. I want to bring it down. We're going to go third. We're going to go just, I'm not saying this is the right thing to do, but we're going to do that. Maximum current, we're going to bring it down to 1.7 amps, right? And that's a normal mode. All right, so confirm confirm look see now we've got two so now it's coming back to me that i must have charged i must have set that mode so this setting then when you go into this one right hang on bang that would be you know somewhere does it say start charging there hang on okay bang two batteries right so it's changed so there you go so you can arrow over this way 
and you select which mode you want, or you can go add mode and add a new one, right? So you just add whatever, and then let's go into expert mode. I know I'm a bit sloppy with this video and whatever, but guess what? First time I'm on the charger, and I'm not very good on videos either, you already know that. Um, the next one will be better. Expert mode, look at this, there's a lot more settings you can, look at this, this is crazy if you really want to fix up a battery. So, expert mode, blah, 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 maximum current, 6 amps. Desulfation, so you can go to the voltage, you can go to the pulse current, pulse current minimum, pulse continuous time, and pre-charge, voltage, soft start. I think you need a degree to work out what, you know, how to look after batteries and, um, you know, how to look after them and how to get all the settings right to do the right thing for the... Look at all this, right? So that's what this is all about, showing you, right? So there's the preview of all that, what's set up up there. This is what's gonna happen with it, right? Look at that. So all the different stages, right? Or steps, they call it steps, right? So for me, I don't think I need expert mode at the moment. Expert mode will be in another video. I need more time for that. So we're gonna go expert mode off back here save the current data confirm whatever um, what am i doing no, i didn't want to do that what i'm going to do is um where am i back arrow back so i just want to go two batteries all right that's what i put in start charging right so battery pre-testing let's just then have a look on this display here obviously it's two batteries of course uh, the information displayed isn't necessarily going to be right it needs some time to refresh and of course there's two batteries blah 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 whatever so and there's an app for that look at that right so half an amp, slowly building it up. Anyway, I like it, but as you can clearly see, I've showed you this before I know much about it myself. And a butter bing. Look, I like it, it's quality, it's got lots of settings, it's way too complicated for me at the moment. I need to do some, you can see that the edge is a bit curled up, I had a bit of a look. But you know, trying to remember all that stuff that I read. And become an expert in one reading isn't going to happen but what's really good is the fact that you can um, you can basically adjust everything all the different battery types different CC and it's also a battery tester right but at the moment we're doing charging it's going up to port 9 of an amp anyway we'll let this go for a while um, and see what it does we'll have some more videos just wanted to show you that briefly at the moment but uh, you got an idea of some of the functions and what you can do with it. Um, so we'll probably put this video out there. Um, subscribe, turn the bell on if you want to see some more videos on this charger. And we're going to have some, we'll show you some other chargers as well because we've got a few chargers, including this antique. Can't wait till you see that, eh? <laughs> anyway, here we go. All right, this is the uh, info you want. And over here, 1.8 amps, 12.8 volts. So it is charging. Now it's not even been five minutes and it's already showing 50%. So that's what I said, you've got to give it some time for it to adjust on what percentage it thinks the battery is, if you know what I mean.